Variable and Fixed Cost Problem 1. Fruit Loop Inc., a cereal manufacturer, has variable costs of 40 cents per unit of product. In May, the volume of production was 26,000 units and units sold were 20,800. The total production costs incurred were $31,500. What are the fixed costs per month? This question is focusing on fixed costs. We're looking at managerial accounting type items. Let's go through the information, see what we have, and break down how to determine the fixed costs. Now we're told variable costs per unit, variable costs per unit are 40 cents per unit. In May, the volume of production was 26,000 units, was 26,000 units. And we're told that 20,800 units were sold. So we have 26,000 units produced and 20,800 units sold. So keep that in mind, we have two numbers, two amounts of units that we potentially could use in this calculation. Now total production costs incurred were 31,500. Now this is where you have to read a little carefully. We're told the variable cost per unit, 40 cents per unit, we're told the number of units produced in, is 26,000 for the month of May and then sold 20,800 and the total production cost incurred were 31,500. It's, it's understood that this is in the month of May, in May, because we're not told and it follows right after in May. So this is kind of, you have to pay attention to the reading. It's a little structured, a little weird, but that's one thing to understand. Now we're given the total production costs. Total production costs, we're told $31,500. So total production costs, total production costs, and the amount is $31,500. $500. Now, total production costs, what go into total production costs? Total production costs, we have variable costs and we have fixed costs. Both of these go in here. This is the sum of all variable and fixed costs that go into producing the actual items that are sold. That's what production costs are. Variable costs, you have direct materials, direct labor, overhead, that's all a function of the actual amount per unit. That's why we have our variable costs, 40 cents per unit. Fixed costs, that is the amount that has to be paid regardless how many units are produced. The idea there is we have some manu we have we're manufacturing here, right? it's a serial manufacturer. There's gonna be certain costs that have to be paid regardless the amount of units. For example, if you're thinking about a machine, and of course, the machine is being used more and more and more depending on how many units, but there might be certain things in the machine that the, regardless how many units are actually being produced, like oiling up the machine or, or things like that, it's just a, a fixed cost that goes into running the machine. Or there's just certain um, certain costs that regardless, again, the number of units, you're gonna have that cost. That's We have fixed versus variable costs. Now we're told 40 cents per unit, and again, we're focusing on the month of May. In May, the volume of production was 26,000 units and units sold were 20,800. Because we're focusing on production, we can ignore the number of units sold. We don't even need to worry about that. So we're gonna use the 26,000 units. So to get our variable costs, we take 26,000 units. We're gonna multiply that by 40 cents. 40 cents per unit. And that's gonna give us our variable costs. So our variable costs here are going to be $10,400, $10,400. So again, our total production costs, variable costs are $10,400. So then fixed costs, that's what we're solving for, we don't know. So we can use some simple algebraic calculation. We can take variable costs or VC plus fixed costs and that gives us total production costs. That gives us total production costs. We know two of these elements, we know Variable cost, we just calculated $10,400 plus fixed cost, which that's what we're solving for, gives total production costs or equals total production cost of $31,500. To get fixed costs using algebra, we can take $31,500 and subtract $10,400, right? Subtract, uh, subtracting the $10,400 from this side, right? Crossing it out here, this amount, and then subtracting it from the other side. Therefore, our fixed costs are going to equal $21,100. And we have just solved for a fixed cost in this question. We've just answered this. Again, remember that, keep in mind this total production cost, the sum of variable costs plus fixed costs, and the information here we're given, um, we took into account the number of units produced, the 26,000 units, to get our variable costs, and we solve for the fixed cost by backing out the fixed cost, knowing total production costs.